care to share the cost of the jewelry and the jewelers behind the jewelry you have on today? Yeah, okay, so this piece, my first ever chain, I got it from a jeweler named Black, so shop Ice by Black. Cardi, OKQ, got this bracelet from OKQ as well. What about the other beads on your other wrist? I got these at a shop in Little Five Points. Hold it up a little higher. And then what about the hat ensemble you have, for lack of a better phrase? It's a balaclava. It was, it's like a one of one piece. Yeah. And what about the glasses? Where do I, get? I don't even remember why I got these. Is there a brand for the glasses or the uh, balaclava? Nah. Okay. Now, are any of these your favorite brands or favorite items you're wearing in today's interview? I had to say probably the balaclava, yeah, because it's one of one. You know, nobody's got one. And what about the jewelry items? You didn't mention a price on those. Mm -hmm. Care to share the price or the cost of those items at the time? Believe it or not, this piece was a promo piece. Got this discounted. Cardi, 42, bracelet, 5. Little Dirk on his Instagram story posted this. Quote, stop buying all this jewelry without knowing what you're doing. Right. A lot of this shit fake and some is overpriced. Mm -hmm. Get one jeweler and stick to them. I'm telling you, y'all ask to be pissed when the truth come out. Right. End quote. What are your thoughts on this? That's for sure a fact. I say now, I gotta, I'm sticking with one jeweler, okay, cute, like I said before. But before, I don't really care for jewelry, I ain't gonna lie. It's more so like an, a reward for me, like, it's, yeah, that's really how I say about that. Now let's dive a little bit deeper with the items that you have on during this interview. Mm -hmm. When it comes to your chain, is this chain called anything specific? Nah, it's just my brand name, Cozy, is what I go by. And what's the meaning behind that and how did that come to be? Okay, so Cozy actually came by, that's what I call my supporters on my, on my vlogging channel, so I call them Cozy Mafia. And then Cozy, I made that my brand name, so it's just that. Where did that come from, though, out of all the names you could have chosen? I don't know. It just, it just came to me one night. Like, I don't know. I was just sitting thinking of a name, and Cozy was just that one, and I just stuck it around with it. And for those in the audience getting to know you for the very first time, care to share that YouTube channel name to the vlogging channel? Right. It's Quan. And... When it comes to your watch, you mentioned this is a Cartier. Does it get any more specific than that, like a particular model name? Yeah, it's a Skeleton Cartier. And why this brand for you? Because there are other watch brands out there. Mm -hmm. I like other watch brands, but it's just like, this is my, my actual first watch. So it was like, it's something I always wanted, something I seen, it was like, it stood out to me, so, yeah. Any meaning behind the wrist it sits on in this interview? It's on your left wrist. So they say mainly you're supposed to wear your watches on the left wrist if you're a guy. But like I left space in between my tattoos for my first watch. So yeah, that's really why it's on my left wrist and not my right. Can you show that on camera a little higher? Yeah. You can't really see the space, but like I'm tatted all the way from here to here. And it's like a space in between. Yeah. And are you naturally right-handed or left-handed? I'm left-handed. And this is the only watch you have thus far in your jewelry collection. Yeah, and probably going to be the only bust down watch. I'm going rest playing Jane. And speaking of custom or bust down, as some say, mm. when it comes to that debate of custom versus factory, AKA bust down versus plain Jane, right? where do you stand on that at this point? I say plain Jane is for sure the better up. And why? It's just like, it's, we walk in a room that's playing Jane speak volume way more than the bust down. Bust down attract the wrong people. You do have a bracelet on as well on that same wrist. Mm -hmm. uh, is this bracelet called something specific, perhaps? No. Nah. Any meaning behind that bracelet as well? No, I just thought it looked cool, so got it. Uh, no rings on your fingers. I actually got one. Oh, you do? Yeah. It sits on your pinky. Mm -hmm. Is there any meaning behind that particular ring? No, it's just, it's a Gucci ring. It look pretty cool. It's like an everyday wear. Any meaning behind that hand either? No, I'm left-handed, so it just, just went straight to the left hand. 
And what about earrings? You have earrings. both ears pierced. Yeah, I got six earring piercings. Six piercings? Yeah, three on each. And what's the meaning behind that? Not really a meaning. I just never really seen nobody or a dude with three and three. So I just was like, might as well. Did you get all six done at the same time? No, nah, different times. The first time you got your ears pierced, do you remember what age you were and how many you did? I was in fifth grade and I got, I just got two, like one on each side. And was that something you get professionally done or you actually do on your own? No, nah, I got them professionally done, but I took them out the same day because I didn't like them. And they healed up and you had to get them re-pierced again? Yeah, I probably got them re-pierced like two more times. And just for context, care to share the name of the elementary school you attended back then? I went to Bethune Elementary. And was that your own choice to get your ears pierced? Parents encouraging that perhaps back then at that age? That was my own choice. What is your opinion on grills? Grills? I actually had a pair before I got my teeth done. I like them. Was that pullout or perms back then? It was pullouts. What is your opinion on that debate? Pullouts versus perms? I mean, like, me, I say pullouts because, like, I like pullouts better because, like, say you got to go into a meeting or you got to go to court or anything, pop your grills out, handle your business, pop them back in. And was that diamonds or gold back then on the pullouts? It was gold. Remember the jewelry you used for that? Chris the jeweler. And is that something you still have to this very day or something you lost back then? I actually lost, I, I had grills for a little minute. I lost them twice, but I still got a pair now. Do you remember how you lost each of those grills back then? Yeah, I threw them away. So they weren't, oh, you threw them away by accident. Yeah, like put them in a the napkin while I was eating, tossed them in the trash. And even though that happened twice to you, mm -hmm. you still believe in pullouts? Yeah. Okay. When it comes to losing jewelry, were those the only items you ever lost? Yeah, really, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your apparent, excuse me, what's your opinion on insurance for jewelry? I say for sure have insurance on all your jewelry because like your life not worth the jewelry at the end of the day. So just get that insured, you can be cool. Now, you mentioned previously that the chain was for promo. Mm -hmm. How does that work? It does was, the jeweler offer that to you? Do you offer that to the jeweler? I didn't necessarily offer it to him. It was like a connection type of thing. I had to connect, the connect pl plugged me up with him and it went from there. And what was the terms of that promo? It was, I think it was like a couple repos. Yeah, it wasn't too serious. Couple reposts on YouTube, Instagram. Instagram. Okay. But I also shouted them out in a vlog as well. And speaking of Instagram, for those getting to know you for the very first time, care to share your Instagram uh, screen name as well. Yeah, my Instagram is Poppy Q. Now, when it comes to that watch, you mentioned that the watch cost you 42000 back then. Mm -hmm. Was that amount of money you spent worth it? For me, yes. And what leads you to that answer? I say like, like I told you, it was like a reward for me. So I say it's like a token of success. So yeah, I was like, why not? Also wanted to follow up on jewelry insurance. One more question there. When you lost those two grills, mm -hmm. were those insured at the time? No. Now for someone watching this interview or listening to it mm -hmm. with no jewelry on, what does that feel like to have $42,000 around your wrist? I mean, I don't really think too much of it. It's just like, like I said, it's a token of success. I don't look at it as everybody else do. For some people, this amount of money is the cost of an auto vehicle. Mm -hmm. Do you ever look at your jewelry in those type of terms? I mean, once you buy a bus down, it's going to depreciate. So like, nah. But the fact that you have, for lack of a better phrase, a car around your wrist. Mm -hmm. Do you ever think of it in terms of that? No, nah, not really. What is your opinion on those who purchase jewelry first instead of the auto vehicle? Dumb. That's all I got to say. It's stupid. And something you didn't do? Nah. 
you had the auto vehicle first, yeah. then the jewelry. Of course. Now, dissecting Dirk's post just a little bit further, you mentioned you're going to start using one jeweler from now on at this point. Right. But did you know what you were doing when you were buying any of this jewelry at the time? You mentioned your stance on you know, custom versus factory at this mm -hmm. point, but did you know what you were doing back then? Did you know stuff like that depreciated back then when you bought it or? Yeah, I, like every time before I'm about to buy something, I, do my, I for sure do my research on it. Ever felt like you paid overprice for any of these items you have, jewelry wise? I mean, you could always find something for cheaper somewhere but at the time, nah. Ever received a fake item of jewelry? No, nah, I don't really have too many pieces. And when it comes to your entire jewelry collection, mm -hmm. well, let me rephrase that question. I have two other questions for you. I didn't get a chance to ask you previously, just as a follow-up. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the other two bracelets on your other wrist, was there any meaning behind those, the beads on nah. your right wrist? No, nah, it's not really a meaning. I just like the way they look. And the earrings, was there a jeweler behind the earrings? Claire's. <laughs> yeah, I tend to lose earrings pretty often. So like, I feel like, well, for me, I feel like buying real earrings is, nah. I'm good. You also have another chain around your neck as well. Mm. Is there any meaning behind that or the what that chain is called as well? Nah, it's like a clear acrylic chain. I made it myself. It's not really a meaning. It's just something I've been wearing since high school. And if those in the audience didn't get a chance to watch or listen to other portions of questions with you, mm. care to share the name of that high school you're referencing here? I went to Banneker High School. 